Hey guys, Dr. Mario 101 here, and welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we fought a bunch of blowhogs and made it to sub level 8 of the Cavern of Chaos, which has a bunch of dwarf bulwarps and two Gatling Groinks. In this episode, we're going to take care of them. Yeah. I had that on pause because I didn't want them coming over here. And you know what? Let's play a game. How about we'll, we'll first take care of the Gatling Groinks and we'll count how many bulwarps are here. We'll do just that. First, we've got to get, um... I suggest we distract them with a captain. Oh crap, those bombs are going to kill those bulwarps. Actually, better yet, let's, let's have them try and aim for themselves. No, we're gonna try to aim. We're gonna try and make them hit one of the other ones. Uh, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, nope, never mind. It will. Okay, try to aim for the other one. Okay, I killed one. Okay, well, it killed one. Probably gonna kill that other one. Perfect! Now we seriously gotta get those back quick. Kill it! <laughs> that was much better than I thought. I thought we would have to go through hell. But yes, we are going to count how many bulb orbs there are in this place. <laughs> because believe it or not, this sub level has more enemies than any other sub level in the game. And ah. I brought a bulbore back, damn it. Must have been fighting one. Well, anyway, now that we don't have to worry about anything now that the Gatling Grunks are killed. We're gonna count how many bulbores are, okay, so we gotta remember we there was one that was already uh, brought here, so we're already on one. Yeah, let's just use nothing but purples. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty-three, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six bulbs, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty. Uh, hang on, forty-five. Forty 
46, 47, 48. Uh, sure I'm not missing any. Well, actually, now that I've killed them all, how about I just be safe? Just for... gonna recount. Sorry if this is boring, but I'm just gonna recount again. Okay, remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And the Gatlin Grunt said equals 48 uh, enemies in this place. Maybe I'm missing some. I thought I remember there being like 50 bulb orbs. Hmm. Oh, I, for complete, I completely forgot about the treasures that are, in the, that are in this dungeon. Where are they? Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that is actually the only treasure in this place. Come on. Oh, these sub are getting longer and longer. Let's break the eggs. the president? Wait, no. Yeah. There we go. Uh, the rest of the bulwark's gonna stay here. Dead. Nine minutes, damn. Sub level nine. Oh no, God, damn. This place, at least it has the nice music, but great. Water with pretty much aerial based enemies. Fantastic. But if I can take out that dirigibug without it hatching in too late. Oh, there's no wide area for me to Hey, good God! I 
guess this will be safe. Yeah, come on, Blues. Let's go. Rich bugs. Perfect. I have no idea how that explodes in water, but okay, I'll buy it. Right? You just gotta shake him off, don't you? Try to deflatorize him. Uh, you can't go screw yourself in. Why are you wasting a bomb rock? Seriously. Alright, I have a chance to go pick that. Actually, I wanted to talk about something. I actually heard a recent article about the uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD on Wii U being $60 right now. What do you guys think of that, actually? Will you, do you want to play? Do you want to pay full price for this game? Because I don't know it's it's actually a real remake. You know, it's not just a HD uh, graphical update. No, there's gonna be new content in it. Personally, I'm I don't really care. I'll pay sixty dollars for this game full price. I freaking love Wind Waker. I did a let's play of it. And you know, I might even do a let's play of the remake if you guys want to. I mean, I really want to. I'll do it. I want to do it very badly. If you guys want to see me let's play it, uh, I'll be more than happy to. Very more than happy to. Very. I mean, seriously, what? What, am I not good enough? Okay, now I am. Uh, one third of what I need. Actually, I think I actually heard another article about more remakes on Wii U. Yeah, I know people are kind of getting sick of remakes, but yeah. I can understand. Me personally, I don't really mind what remakes, honestly. As long as it's good. So yeah, I don't mind if there being more remakes on Wii U. But I can understand why people might not if they want new games and that's that's completely understandable sub level 10 this is the end uh, should I end the episode here you know I was going to but you know Let's do it anyway! I know! I love you guys! Don't take that too seriously, though. Alright, now... What do you want to do for this boss? Well, first let's actually get to it. We're gonna need two captains for it. Meat? Wait a minute. What is it? Uh, you thought it was a giant boulder? Nope! Meat! The segmented, the segmented Probster. Only oh, has one arm. The other one's gone. Wonder what, where it was. What happened to it? Anyway, for this boss, you want to take one captain. I believe it, it goes after captains. Yes. You want it to hit a wall, and it's going to make rocks fall down. Rock storm, basically, like from, we saw in the Frontier Cavern one time. Yeah. And that that glowing spot is its weakness. Is it its weak point? Sorry. I believe that's the only way it can hurt Pikmin by rolling. That and the rock storm it uh, brings down. 
be again. I believe, yeah, they just go after captains. So, when it gets stunned from hitting the wall, attack with all your might with purples. Go, 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 go! Damn it. Purples, don't stop being heroes. We don't have to be heroes just yet. Not until we go into the hole. Oh, spoilers to one of the cave names. Terrible, terrible pun, I know. I guess maybe throwing over here is easier. Oy! I cannot throw on high areas in the Wii version of this game to save my goddamn life. Just like the Pokemon trading card game. I can't play the Pokemon trading card game to save my life. I'm really making this boss harder than it looks. But yes, it, go it goes after active captains. Freaking rock storm. Over here, you idiots! Why'd they all have to go after the president? Stupid idiots. Hey, hey, go after me. Maybe I should just use a different color pepper. You know, why don't I just try yellows? The purples are sucking. So what is wrong with you? Whites can do the job. Boom. Rock Storm. That should be it. That should be a move in the next Pokemon game. Rock Storm. Come on. Do that for X and Y. Come on, do it. Do it, Masuda. Yeah, yellows are definitely better for this. In fact, yellows are actually very good for this entire area in general, the Wistful Wild. You'll see why, especially when we reach the last dungeon. Yeah. Purples, take notes. I don't even think I needed a potion there. Damn it! Shug! Oh, uh, that one's dead. Oh, okay, apparently not. I thought it was going to be dead in the water, but no. Segmented Cropster is defeated! None? Getting that back over there. What is wrong with the Pikmin here? Seriously. <laughs> God, that made me a little... Ugh, God. I do not like looking at that thing. Oh. This treasure is actually something funny about this treasure.
This treasure... See the value number of the Pokos and the name, the silencer? Funny thing. In the Japanese version, the, po the Pokos that that thing gave you was 666. 666. Yeah. I don't know what the name of it was in the Japanese version. I think it... I don't know if it was any different. I'll probably put up an annotation right now saying what its Japanese name was. But yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Especially with a name like that, Silencer. Anyway, let's get out of here. <laughs> White's taking a while to get out now, too. Five Pikmin. That's all right. All right. One cave of the Wistful Wild complete. Not bad. Going to risk it. Not gonna risk it. Not nope. Not gonna. I'm too worried about the time. This was a pretty good day. We got a lot of Pikmin from the outside here. Let's see, what enemies are they gonna have for us? Gatling Groink. Blowhog and Blowhog. Still no Gatling Grunk. I mean, and Gold Ship. Seriously, that thing should have been just, just demolished. Well, it's video game logic. Then again, Minecraft follows real logic of gold. <sighs> Never mind. This is an this is a Nintendo game. Minecraft's not a Nintendo game. Though it is a fantastic game. Oh yeah, the mail. I actually forgot to show you something at the days that I didn't have a, uh, or I, that you didn't show when I was grinding for berries and Pikmin. Yeah, I got this a spam. I am so lonely. I want a friend that will listen to my troubles. I want to meet someone like you. Contact me at Nintendo.com. Yeah. Actually, let's read up those treasures. Oh, we got one complete. Yeah, this one. This is actually the arm of uh, the segmented cropster, the one that was missing. Emperor Ball Blocks ate it. Mm. Well, it did perish from us. I thought, was there another one I wanted to check? Let's check out what the silencer says. If I can find it. Yep, right here. Yeah, that's it for the treasures. Let's look up uh, Picklepedia though, real quick. Segmented Cropster. Thank you. 
see it only goes after captains. Oh, man, that legs. The reason why I don't have any Pikmin moss because I had a freaking reset. Actually, wait, I guess maybe this thing and the long ones are part of the human family. I'll have to look at, to look at that again. Legs, same family, okay, but what about the Dweebles? That's what really matters. Because they're our number one enemy now. Okay, yep, Dweeble family. So, be long legs and man at legs. Sorry for saying that you were part of the Dweeble family before, you're not, so I forgive you for that. But you two still freaking suck, and I hope you burn in hell. Weevils, you are still number one enemy. Anyway, uh, that was it for this episode. Okay, so next time on Pikmin 2, we're going to continue exploring the Wistful Wild. Okay, see you guys then.